Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is directed by John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein, starring Chris Pine, Cheryl Rodriguez, Rage Jan Page, Justice Smith, Sophia Lillis, Hugh Grant, Cole Coleman, Daisy Head, and Kyle Hickston. And is the first ever um, moody movie adaptation of the extremely popular tabletop fantasy role-playing game Dungeons and Dragons, which has been going since the early 80s. Now I do have a little bit of dis um, a little bit of uh, history when it comes to this game. Um, the first time I ever played Dungeons and Dragons was in 2017 with uh, my dad's friend and his son. And basically, all I um, really remember from that session was um, waiting two hours just to set up my character. It was so lengthy, it was so heavy, it was so slow and time consuming. And then we spent maybe about 45 minutes um, role playing in a world and a dungeon. So anyway, um, there is a lot of um, fame around this game. Um, it's it's kind of, it's infamous for being pro probably the most um, intensive and time-consuming tabletop game ever. Possibly one of the most time-consuming board games in the world. Possibly only behind maybe a Monopoly, but Monopoly is a, is is a very different type of game. Um, in order to play Dungeons and Dragons, you need a DM, a dungeon master who you, who. Is, he has to be kind of very imaginative and very visual with his um his speaking and his vocabulary, being able to like suck you into um, a world just using the sound of his voice. You need uh, three or four people who know how to play Dungeons and Dragons. I actually did um last year. I I really got into in, into Dungeons and Dragons for real for the first time last year when I went to a local meetup that um that really like taught just the average lay person how to play Dungeons and Dragons and then we were put into parties and I was in a party for about maybe two or three months and then I dropped off and I I had a really good experience out of that. But anyway, uh, a couple of nights ago I went again with that same meetup group to the local movie theatre to see the Dungeons and Dragons movie. And it's funny because um, my DM, even though I live in, in, in Australia, he's actually American in origin. He has a very heavy like Californian accent and I think he's been living in Australia for maybe two or three years I'm not really sure but he's great and he um, dressed up as like a, a dark mage wizard coming into the movie theatre and he was very happy with what he saw on screen he thought it was absolutely um, amazing he really had really nothing bad to say about it it, it was a full movie, th movie theatre as well full of um, people who were enthusiastic. There was a lot of laughing. I was um, quite surprised at how funny this movie was. I don't think every single joke landed um, the way they intended it to, but most of the stuff in this movie is actually quite funny. And I did laugh a couple of times of just how, how weird and absurd the humour got because um, I really do like the tone that this movie uh, was going for and the way it, uh, it presented itself. So Dungeons and Dragons as a movie uh, um, Honor Amongst Thieves as a movie is actually quite unique because it is probably the first, really the first movie I've ever seen that is a fantasy comedy. It is, it's kind of like, it, it looks similar to stuff that you see in Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones, but the uh, the writing is actually very modern. It, it feels like, you know, just like um, modern you know, city folk, modern day, 21st century people who just, just so happen to be living in a medieval time full of magic and dragons and monsters and stuff like that. And it, it's kind of, it, it's a bit jarring at first, but you get used to it pretty fast and it really does work in this movie. I do like the very fresh, modern um, feel of it when it comes to the characters and, and overall just the very modern writing and it, and it works in this film. And also, the film is also quite self-aware. It's not like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones where it, at times it takes itself very seriously, even though Lord of the Rings does have comedy in it. Game of Thrones hardly has any comedy in it. But anyway, uh, I, I did like the uh, the self-awareness of, of, uh, of when it started to get a bit cheesy, where it started to get a bit um, unbelievable. There is actually a, uh, a very funny scene in this movie where they bring back uh, people from the dead just to add a few questions. And then, and, and then the dead are like, hey, uh, I still have one more question. 
to answer and they just like walk away and he's just, and he just kind of like left there not knowing what to do just lying in his coffin and that was a funny scene that was probably one of the funny scenes out of the entire movie it was also like another gag where like a major character walks away across like the beach and it just lingers on like the shot for like 30 seconds and as they're still talking in like later shots you can still see him like walking like the background is further and further and further away and that was a really good gag i really i really like the way um I really like that one. Anyway, um, it's also really well shot, really well directed. The action sequences are really cool. And it's not like, and, and because it ha has that modern edge to it, it's not just like, a, even though the battle scenes from Lord of the Rings are like amazing, but like this has like a real like modern kind of action film feel to it, kind of like John Wick or like the Matrix one. And it kind of has this very funky, like really thumping like EDM music while some of the action move, um, scenes are playing, which I thought was a real nice touch. And, and you would think it wouldn't work for a, for a fantasy film like this, but it does. And it's such a, an oddity in like the film in industry to see a movie like this, because films like these are really rare. And I haven't really seen a movie, if not ever, that has pulled this type of genre bending off. And I really have to give the directors props for that, because who knew that fantasy and modern day comedy could fit together so well? Anyway, um, I'm not going to get into major spoilers um, in this movie apart from what those couple of scenes I talked about earlier. But the characters are really good. The main character, it's awful, I keep on forgetting the names of the characters of these movies, but he is a thief who just wants to find redemption for his family. He's trying to get back together with his daughter. He was responsible for someone's death, I won't uh, spoil who but it's all about his, his his redemption of getting back with his with his daughter and overall it was a decent story it was a very good story solid at least solid story i'm not saying it's saying the story was like a masterpiece but it was a good story but overall um that's my opinion of dungeons and dragons honor among thieves i highly recommend that you see this movie it was a very solid fun action filled movie with a lot of laughs so there's there's a lot to enjoy about it anyway i hope you've been Enjoy what I have to say about this movie. Thanks for supporting the channel as always. You're awesome. And as always, take care.